What's going on everybody? I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I have a recent eBay pickups video. I have five or six cards to show today. Some really cool ones that I'm excited to show. So we'll get right into it. Um, I know sometimes in the past I've had some cards that aren't eBay pickups, but today's video is all eBay pickups. So starting with the first one, this is a, an addition to my Robert Williams uh, 2021 Prison Rainbow. This is just a base fast break. Uh, progressing well in that. I'm not expecting to finish the whole thing, but I'd really like to get as many cards as I can from it. As usual, I have some other ones on eBay that I'm watching right now that are on auction. Another one that I am going to add to the rainbow is the red fast break, and these are numbered out of 125. I'm kind of in between on how I like the fast break. Some of them are nice, and some aren't the best design in my opinion, but red fast break isn't bad. Honestly, I, I almost like the base fast breaks better than some of the parallel ones, but I don't really hate them too much. I mean, picking them up so they're not that bad. Um, and the third pickup in this video to the rainbow is the blue numbered out of two nine, uh, 199, sorry. The blues look really clean, especially in good lighting. So I believe I am approaching number 20 in the rainbow. Still got a while to go, especially um, not having any of the parallels that are l n numbered lower than 50. It's going to be hard, but um, again, just trying to get through as much as I can. So I do, I think there is six cards, yeah. Next up is an Al Horford Lime from Optic 2021, numbered out of 149. Wish this was his Celtics uniform but wasn't on the Celtics last year, so that's why he's not in a Celtics jersey. But really like the lime parallel. Again, it would be a really cool color match with a Celtics, with a Celtics jersey, but um, he's had his struggles lately, or at least as the, of the time that I'm recording this. This might not go out for a little while, but um, I have liked his style of play this year. Um, has been a good defender. His three-point shot has not improved as much as I thought it would throughout the year. He's shooting lower as the season goes on, but it does contribute well to the team. Um, a few weeks ago, Baker Mayfield was out with COVID and Nick Mullins replaced him, so I took a chance on this card. Um, paid maybe $10 for this numbered out of 99 from Contenders Draft, didn't end up playing well. So one of those situations where you take the loss, you can't win every card. I was going to try and maybe make some money on it and put it into another card if he played well, almost like a Mike White situation. But, um, you know, you just got to take the loss, learn from it, and that's part of the hobby. So again, not a huge loss because I only paid $10 for it, but... The last card, um, this is a really nice one that I was really happy to pick up um, on auction. I think this is my first flux, flux card. Um, this is the Solar Eclipse Parallel numbered out of 49. Another one of those cards that looks much nicer in person than it does um, when you see it through a screen. Just a really nice parallel. Let me know what you think about Flux. I think the design's cool. And there's some really nice parallels. Like some of the shimmers in them look really nice. Even just the base design for the base cards is cool. So that does it for this video. Six cards, some additions to the Robert Williams Prism Rainbow. Um, cool PC pickup. The Nick Mullins autograph and 
the Peyton Pritchard um, Flux numbered out of 49. So I have a decent Pritchard uh, collection going. He did start playing well recently and then unfortunately went into health and safety protocol. And I don't know if they're going to keep him past the trade deadline. I think they will because it doesn't look like they're going to have Schroeder much longer just because they got him for a good contract. And I think he's a good trade piece since they need to bring in some other guys to make them um, a contending team this year. So I think he'll stay. If he doesn't, it is what it is, but definitely hope he does. So I'm going to close out with this and we'll change it up. I'll show the Robert Williams blue. So closing out with these two cards, again, this video is probably not going to go out for a week or two after filming this. I'm filming this on January 7th. So um, who knows? I hope the Celtics start playing better because uh, the day before recording this video, they had an awful loss to the Knicks flew a 25, 26 point lead. Um, so definitely tough to watch. So hoping they can bounce back um, and get it together. So thank you again for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.